This is going to be my first in a series of videos all about origami boxes. We'll look at traditional boxes, fuse boxes, boxes with dividers, boxes with lids. We'll look at di our triangular boxes, triangular boxes with lids, all sorts of boxes. All right? And we're going to begin our discussion with this little gem right here. Right. Take this like so. Look at that. There we go. There we go. <laughs> now, these are all what are called mazu boxes. The mazu is a traditional wooden box in Japan, and this is the origami version of it. So all of these are just simple mazu boxes. The middle is a very small Sonobi cube. So here's a fun little project you can make uh, with a bunch of mazu boxes. So let's first talk about just how to make the actual box. So let's put the zero pink. There we go. Yellow, purple, green, blue, orange, blue, black, blah, blah, blah. All right, so you need just a square sheet of paper. If yours is colored only one side, like this one, you want the colored side down. Okay? And let us begin by taking this and folding it in half diagonally. And folding it in half diagonally. Now, I'm going to take each point and fold it in to the center point. All right, there we go. Ah, those are all nice tight creases. Now, pick any side. We're going to fold that into the center line. There we are. And turn it around and fold that into the center line. There we go. Again, nice tight creases. Split it now. Open that back up and open up the ends there. All right. Now we're going to take this side here that doesn't have the crease in it, and we're going to fold that into the center line like so. If that little piece sticks out underneath there when you do that, that is perfectly fine. Get a nice tight crease. And spin that around. We'll do the same thing with this side. Nice tight crease. Good. All right. Wonderful. Now, we're going to open these back up. These will be the sides of our box, and now we're going to fold what amounts to the end. And all the folds are actually already there, so now it's just a matter of having it all come together. We're going to start here. This little square here is going to go in, and that's going to fold back so that you have a diagonal. Let's see if we can get a good picture of that. That diagonal right there on that little square. Good. This one does the same thing. It folds down. So we wind up with this diagonal there and there. Let me turn that into the light. There and there. And now this flap is just going to fold over those two. And hold that down. This one here will do the same thing. So we're going to start that little space there. That's going to fold down and they're going to fold in on their diagonals and then 
this just folds over and holds that all in place. There you go. There is your Mazu box. Huh? Nifty. Now, to make this thing that I opened up a little bit ago, I just made a bunch of Mazu boxes, and each piece, each square I started with, is just slightly smaller than the one before it. If you're using metric measure, um, about a centimeter will give you good results. If you're using um, the U.S. customary system, then uh, you want to make each piece about a uh, quarter of an inch less square, uh, smaller than the previous square. So there we are. And so we will build on this Mazu box in later videos. We'll add a divider, we'll add a lid, all kinds of fun things. We'll look at a whole bunch of other different boxes besides. So there you go. That'll get you started. Thanks very much.